Hey guys, Johnny Porter here. So I have here a MacBook Air 2013 and it is connected to my, it's a GPU, but it's stored inside this desktop. I keep it here to keep it all clean. And so I'm gonna go through how to set up your external GPU for your MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, whatever it is on Windows 10. I have Windows 10 hooked up here through a SSD. I have a sticker on it, but it's Samsung's T1. And it is just running off USB 3 and it's all done here. And here we go. So first what we're going to do is we're going to start up the Mac. Also the GPU, don't wanna forget that. So you wanna make sure that it's plugged in, everything's all set. GPU fans, okay. So everything's plugged in right. Dual booted, I have it running on this. Windows, and it's all hooked up to this Thunderbolt. It looks like it's working. So I have Thunderbolt here, and it acts as PCIe in Windows. And so it'll run from the enclosure, which is connected to the GPU, and it'll hook up into the Mac. Here we have Windows, it's all running fine. It's actually running off of the integrated graphics, but um, whenever I go and do something highly intensive, playing a video game, or watching, I think maybe watching video, I haven't been able to run 4K, which is weird, because that GPU is like, I, I think it's decent. And the way that that works is there's this software called Optimus. Optimus is, it's so that whatever is sent, being sent into the GPU, it back feeds to this internal display. I'm just going to go through some gameplay. It's running 25 to 35. It's running good. It's almost 40 frames actually. So here I have my eGPU set up. It's inside my uh, desktop uh, case. And I just got a GPU, an external GPU enclosure. Well, it wasn't not dedicated to eGPU, but I got an enclosure and it's very, it's pretty popular because it's the cheapest one. So I'm just gonna take these parts out. So this is how everything works. I got my enclosure here. This is the Akitio, I don't Akishio. This is their little box enclosure. It was like $220. The GPU, it doesn't fit. What you have to do is you have to get a PCIe riser. So you just hook it in. Then you got your PCIe slot, pop it in there. The last thing you'll need is a power supply. So I have my power supply inside this desktop. Basically stick this upside down and then this will be hooked up to power supply. This is metal on top of metal, which probably isn't that smart, but just hook that up, plug it in the right way. This technology called Thunderbolt. You hook it up here to the enclosure. That's what the enclosure is for. It'll just hook up here and I'll go through software and how to set it up through that way and another video if you guys liked this one. Hey guys, so if you like what you saw, just give me a like. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down and let me know what you didn't like about it. I'll be linking all of these parts and everything into the description below. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of this. This is my first video on YouTube and I greatly appreciate all the support. Thank you.